Coach Dunfield, I'm the founder and owner of Native Hemp Company, flagship location in historic downtown Lee Summit. We have increased our sales, gotten to the point where it's 50-50 now, half Delta 8, half CBD. Now to us, Delta 8 is just taking it to another level. So this is our Bubblicious Watermelon Delta 8 Infused Moon Rocks, coated with keef, flower dunked in Delta 8 THC oil for a caviar cannabis experience. The main cannabinoids that we care about are Delta 9 THC, which is traditional marijuana getting stoned, CBD, which has been the basis of the hemp movement, and then now we're moving into just a wider range of cannabinoid products because of prohibition and the legality. So Delta 8 has been known about on science literature for years. But the reason why no one cared about Delta 8 for a long time is that all cannabis was illegal. The dispensaries have paid a lot of money and put a lot of time into selling Delta 9 and they can sell other things too but it looks like that's where the money is for them. I don't think we're taking any money from them. I think honestly we're helping more people be educated about cannabis so we're, we're a team and I don't think anyone will ever try Delta 8 and say I don't want to try Delta 9. We were selling it from a reputable source that had testing that we looked over and we made it available to the people that were purchasing it. However, it still wasn't tested by Missouri testing labs and so one of the things that some people proposed was, okay, if you're going to sell it, we'll go through the Missouri testing labs, but then um, you would still have so much unregulated product on the market at CBD stores, gas stations, you could pretty much buy it anywhere. And having that out there, having an unregulated source out there and then a regulated source, people really wouldn't know what they were getting. So if, when you have hemp and it gets created into CBD oil, it's very easy to then simply do organic chemistry and convert the CBD oil into Delta 8. True Delta 8 is safe, it's just how you extract it and what they do with it. It is a naturally derived cannabinoid. So it's not fake, it's not made in a lab, but you extract it and then you have to chemically get it into the plants and get it into the products that you're going to sell and that's where you run into problems with it. Sometimes it can be that it's over the legal limit of actual THC that we sell here, and sometimes it can be that it has no Delta 9, no Delta 8. And if we can get to a point where possibly the regulated by the state marijuana producers start to manufacture it, it's a possibility we might be bringing it back. But then, you know, that's probably a little far off. Some states have banned it, some states have put it in the regulated cannabis market, but then that means also not allowing it to be sold outside of that environment. What you're starting to see here is a separation of the cannabis industry. There's literally no reason Delta 8 THC should be illegal besides it would be because they don't want the competition. They're trying to get Delta 8 shut down through the scope of that's the wild, wild west, that's untrustworthy. I think that's a little hypocritical because it was 10 years ago they were in the same place. Delta 9 is too strong for a lot of people. CBD sometimes is not strong enough. Nine months now, we've consistently seen that Delta 8 is a perfect in-between. It's very beneficial in the way that it can 
lower anxiety and lower pain, increase appetite, help you sleep better. Since it has a less of a psychoactive effect, I think a lot of people really like that. This is a Delta 8 distillate. This, is, this product contains 100% cannabis. There's no cutting agents. This is triple lab tested with liquid chromatography. Every one of these products, we've had our part in from the start to the finish. The way it should look, smell, taste. You know, I think cannabis is actually setting the precedent of what you can know about your products when you take them. I think forever back, people will look at Delta 8 and say, that was kind of the catalyst for cannabis being legal for everyone. I think it's a great time in Missouri. If you love cannabis, you can get what you need.